This is my backflip attempt. Take two edge. Turns out that uh, Lily Pichu um, awesomely uh, gave us like three grand. So she has single handedly like funded, you know, just a gigantic amount of stuff and has gotten our first few um, milestones met. So a huge thank you to Lily. Um, you know, we all think that Lily is awesome and we really support her and we hope that Lily One is, is really taking care of Lily too. And I think that, that whole revelation from that stream, I think has been really helpful for me too, to really conceptualize people as like version A or version B. Um, and so, uh, a gigantic thank you to Lily for being so supportive and then like funding us our coaching program, because then we can coach people and hopefully help other people. Um, so gigantic thank you to Lily Pichu, gigantic thank you to her community um, for being such an awesome community and like getting along with us and supporting us. They're like wholesome and positive. Oh, no, 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 it's too big. It's too big. It's so fucking big, dude. What the fuck? Lily's gonna rap, oh boy, here we go again Didn't we just see her playing Minecraft trying to count to ten? All her lines are cringy, overdone, and just a bit cliche And anything with hand-eye coordination is in her forte Dropping everything and not the mic, how are you not dead? Do you even eat or take a shit when you don't leave your bed? Losing everything from your glasses to your phone Holy fuck, it's no wonder Michael can't leave you alone Your voice is like a dream, sweet but kinda gross Isn't it a shame that's how people know you most? Michael must be tired from you resting on his back I guess that's what you get when you do nothing but smoke crack and valorant never saw you get a killing spree all you do is share your feelings like a dumb infp pretend all you want you're the opposite of tough no matter how many tests you take you'll always be a hufflepuff fuck timmy timmy no Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Timmy, fuck. The little baby's riding on it. It's got to be theirs. I want to see. Wow! So good. Hunter? Hunter? How old? None uh, uh, 20 years old. 20 years old? At first, uh, like a ping pong ball. Ah, okay. <laughs> and uh, maybe. Uh, it will glue to uh, bicycle wheel. Yeah. Like a bicycle wheel. So yeah. Hmm. Yep. Definitely, you know. Uh, yeah, that just makes me look bad. Eh? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm wondering. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're saying you're not doing anything nah. for sales, right? Nah, nah. Oh, Cause there's two really? pieces of the puzzle. Yeah, yeah, I, get you. I, I understand. Yeah. What yeah, is that? I, I completely understand, sir. I understand. Is that a gift for me? Yeah. Right, so. Oh, they're not all my gifts. 
I, well, you've been saying you want something like this for a long time. Is that a cool shirt? I don't know. <laughs> oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh, chat. Look how pog it looks. Doesn't look pog? I love those. I told you I wanted an animal shirt for a while, dude. Yeah. Well, thank you. That's really sweet. You're welcome. Much love. So, how was the driving? Oh, is that your dog? Yeah, Teddy. Teddy. Say hi, Teddy. <laughs> he just ran away. <laughs> Ted, come here. Okay, yeah, sure. It's like 6,000, sure, but that's not gonna happen. Okay. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> okay. okay, let's cut hair, chat. Okay, because that's not gonna happen. Okay. Okay, okay. cut hair. Okay, so welcome to Jeannie's Hair Salon. Kansan, thank you for one month. Here we go. Kansan, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mecha, thank you for one month. When COVID happened, we tweeted out, we said, how are you guys dealing with COVID? And the response that we got is that it's actually not that bad. It's not very different from my regular life. And so my first thought was, oh, that's pretty cool. Like people are more adaptive towards, um, you know, COVID because they're gamers. But then another part of me like jumped up and, and thought something really horrible. The rest of the world is falling apart because they're quarantined and we live like this every single day. That COVID quarantine is a way of life for our generation. That is fucked up. Just think about that for a second. It's not that we're more, like, the fact that we're adapted to COVID is fucking terrifying. Right? That there's a growing population of people who lives like this day in and day out. The rest of the world is fucking falling apart and we're like, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? Just stay at home. Oh, you can't get your nails did? Like, who the fuck cares? In the paddock. <laughs> uh, did you say that, Max? No, I've never mentioned that name. You did! <laughs> Some guy quoted it and Max asked for a boxing ring in the paddock next time. Who would win? What, me or Simon? Simon? <laughs> yeah, take man, dog as well. He would hit you with baguette. <laughs> Simon uses baguette. <laughs> Very powerful. <laughs> he hit you with his baguette. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. Oh, we <laughs> fucking lag now. Oh, this guy on us. What? Would you mind show your ring for us? Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather have a huge head and a small neck? Have a huge neck and a small head. Every time I think a small head. Anyways, um, running out. I think we need to deplatform Pokemon. I said it. Yep. I'm gonna